I've always been very active, enjoyed doing things outdoors. Um, I had just completed my master's like two weeks before I got injured, so that was a pretty big accomplishment. I had just traveled to San Diego for kind of a relaxation after I got done with school and um, met up with some friends and we were kind of just roughhousing and wrestling around. One of them had me pretty good kind of between his legs and I was trying to pull my head out and we slid off the couch and when we went off the couch, kind of just heard a snap and my body went limp from there. I wasn't so much worried about myself. I didn't have a lot of thoughts. I was more sad and hurt that now my kids or my wife or my family were, were gonna have to deal with this. And you know, I was pretty much dependent on them. And with the kids, it was just tough because I knew I wouldn't be able to throw them in the air the way I was just a week before, and hugging them, holding them, tucking them into bed. When I first walked in here, I couldn't move anything from my shoulders down, so I couldn't uh, lift either arm. My right bicep was the only thing that was working, so I could lift my hand off of the bed a little bit, but that was the only movement I had besides my head. And then, of course, my neck was in a brace, so it was you know, pretty much completely paralyzed. Occupational therapy and physical therapy were pretty much a part of the daily routine. And after I started getting some movement back, then I felt it was in my hands and I felt I was responsible to push harder and do things. And I've always done sports and athletics, so that's where I really felt home and comfortable. And even though they pushed me hard, that's what I've always enjoyed. And that's probably the happiest that I was while I was here. The culture here is absolutely amazing. I mean, you're dealing with some of the hardest things in your life and going through life-changing decisions and experiences. And if anybody here had a bad attitude, I mean, it would be easy to argue with them. It would be easy to take things out on them. And since they're always so upbeat and motivating you and pushing you, I mean, it, it helps more than words can really explain. I mean, I've truly found like a deep love for everybody that I've worked with and, you know, care about them beyond what they would know just from their job point of view, they've truly made a huge difference in my life. The thing that is so unique about Craig is that they truly care here. Everybody understands what's going on uh, with spinal cord injuries, which is a huge difference. And just the help that they give you mentally goes a long way. Now I'm able to definitely get outside with the kids and use the forearm walker to get around the cul-de-sac with them and enjoy things with them outside. Uh, both my kids absolutely love being in the yard and uh, they're learning to ride bikes and scooters and being able to get in that walker outside with them is a huge thing. Craig has given me the idea and thought that my life is still gonna continue. Things still go on, it's just gonna be in a different way. It's kind of a place of its own and everybody finds their own strengths and weaknesses and. It's just the place for, to kind of make things happen and to move forward with your life.